system. Uh, if you look at the, the business in this country, most of them, offer, if not all of them, are cyclical to various degree. Uh, certain businesses are, of course, more cyclical than other businesses. So when you buy a business or make a investment in stock, do you have a cutoff? Like, uh, if a business lose money in a downturn, we are not going to buy. If, uh, if, if it's uh, earning begin to decline, uh, uh, downturn, we're not going to buy. But if the earning growth slows down, then we can look at the business and uh, make an investment. And also, uh, when you buy a business, uh, in terms of the current PE ratio, also do you have a cutoff? Let's say if its PE ratio is more than 15, 16, we are not going to buy the business, no matter how much the earning may grow in the future. And uh, so basically, it's about uh, the growth and the uh, and value. Yeah, we have, uh, to answer your question directly, we, we have no cutoff whatsoever. Uh, we, don't, we don't think in terms of absolutes that way because, again, we are trying to think of how many birds are in the bush. And sometimes uh, the number that are currently being shown could be negative. Uh, one of the best buys we ever made was... Uh, in 1976, when we bought a significant percentage, what became through repurchases 50% of the uh, uh, Geico at a time when the company was losing a lot of money and was destined to lose a lot of money uh, in the immediate future. Uh, and, you know, the fact they were losing money was not lost on us, but uh, uh, we thought we saw a future there that was significantly different than the current situation. So it would not bother us uh, in the least uh, to buy into a business that currently was losing money for some reason that we understood and where we thought that the future was going to be significantly different. Similarly, if a business is making some money, there's no, P there's no PE ratio that we have in mind as being a cutoff point at all. There, there are businesses, I mean, you could have some business making a sliver of money on which you would pay a, a very, very high PE ratio. But it's, it's basically, we look at all of these as businesses. We are, for example, in, 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 at Executive Jet, NetJets, we're losing money in Europe. Well, we expect to lose money in Europe getting established. So does that mean it's a bad thing to buy 100% of if you own the whole company or 3% or of if Executive Jet was a public company and you were buying into it? No, I mean, it's... There are all kinds of decisions that, that, that uh, uh, involve the future looking different in some important way than the present. Most of our decisions relate to things where we expect the future not to change much. But you get this, well, American Express was a good example. And when we bought it in 1964, a fellow named Tino DeAngelis had caused them un incredible uh, trouble. And, you know, it was one of those decisions that that looked for a time as if it could break the company. So we knew if you had been charging for what Tino had stolen from the company against the income account that year or the legal costs that were going to be attached to it, you were looking at a, at a significant loss. But the question was, what was American Express going to look like 10 or 20 years later? And we felt very good about that. So there are no arbitrary cutoff points, but there is that focus on how much cash will this business deliver you know, between now and kingdom come. Now, as a practical matter, if you estimate it for 20 years or so, the terminal values get less important. So, but you do want to have in your mind a stream of cash that will be thrown off over, say, a 20-year period that that makes sense, discounted at a proper interest rate compared to what you're paying today. And that's what investment's all about. Charlie? Yeah, the, the answer is almost the exact reverse of what you were pointing toward uh, a business with something glorious underneath disguised by terrible numbers that cause cutoff points in other people's minds is ideal for us if we can figure it out. 